Did you know that there's published scientific research that we can use to build stronger, more muscular calves? For example, this study looked at calf muscle activation at different knee angles, and the two major muscle groups that they looked at was the soleus and the gastrocnemius. So the gastrocnemius is a thick upper part of your calves, and it's made up of two parts, the lateral head and the medial head. So they found that muscle activation in the medial head and the lateral head was higher with a straight or extended leg position, similar to the straight leg position used in a standing calf raise, as well as the straight leg position used when doing calf raises on a leg press. Question. Have you ever wondered why a small Asian woman who's never done calf raises in her life has bigger calves than you? I'll give you a hint. It's a one-word answer. Genetics. But that doesn't mean that guys like us, who started with absolutely nothing, can't make some solid progress with smart exercise selection and effective programming. So the second major muscle group they looked at in the first study was the soleus. And as you can see in the picture here, the soleus is in the lower part of your calf. So what they found was that the soleus was most effectively targeted when the knee was flexed at a 90 degree angle. Or in other words, when your leg is bent at 90 degrees, similar to what you see in the seated calf raise. These are going to be the most effective exercises for targeting the soleus. Now let's talk about foot positioning. Toes straight or neutral? Toes out or externally rotated? Toes in or internally rotated? Do these different foot positions actually make a difference? Or is this gym folklore that somebody made up? Well, based on this one research paper published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning in March 2011, it does make a difference. So what they found was that the externally rotated foot position, where your toes pointed out, caused significantly greater muscle activation in the medial gastrocnemius, while the internally rotated position, or your toes pointed in, caused significantly greater muscle activation in the lateral gastrocnemius. So what does all that mean? Toes pointed out, you get more activation on the inside part of your calves. Toes pointed in, you get more activation on the outside part of your calves. And those are just tools you can use if you find an imbalance in your calves or you want to target one side more than the other. So the most common mistake I see people make when they're training their calves is bouncing up and down when they're doing their calf raises. Now this can be used at the end for a burnout set, but this is not the way you want to be doing the majority of your calf training. You want to make sure you're doing things slow and controlled. You want to feel a deep stretch at the bottom and you want to make sure you feel a tight squeeze at the top. So the last thing we're going to talk about in this video is three second pause reps. So what you do is at the bottom or during the stretch, you hold that for a three count. You squeeze up and squeeze at the top, and when you bring it back down, hold during the stretch for a three count. You're going to have to use a lighter weight, but believe me, if you're doing 12 to 15 reps with these pause reps, your calves are going to be on fire. It's a great way to switch things up and to give your calves a new stimulus to grow. So I hope you guys found that informative, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I really spent a bunch of time learning how to edit videos and really stepping up my game as far as um, making things as entertaining and as educational as possible. So I'm a little feeling a little sick and it's, you know, I'm in Mississauga, which is on the west side of Toronto, and it's absolutely freezing outside. It's like, it feels like minus 15 outside. That's why I have the hoodie on. But um, so, I mean, another thing too is I was thinking about getting somebody with bigger calves to do this video. But then I thought, you know, I'm gonna do this for team, no calves, do it for the guys who started with nothing. Like I literally had like a pencil between my knees and my ankles. Like I had the smallest calves ever. So what you see now, um, what I was able to build up over time was just from, you know, dedicated training, consistent training, and using a lot of the principles that I talked about in the video. So if you have really skinny, small calves, Follow the stuff that I mentioned in the video, and I'm almost positive that you will make progress. So be consistent. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.